Hi everyone, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on that thumbnail either way. Today we're having a topper chat. Woohoo! I know a lot of you have been requesting Jill do more toppers. It's the summer, warmer months, and if you're like me, wearing wigs can be something you just don't do because it can be very warm. And you know, I, I tend not to if it's a really warm day. So what I do is I transition over to toppers. Uh, it is just easier for me. They are so much cooler. They're more comfortable. So that's what I tend to do in the summer. And then when the weather starts cooling down and fall rolls around, I'm back in to my wigs again. And it's kind of fun because I get excited for maybe some new styles that I didn't pay attention to that may have come out in the summer months. And I'm kind of reinvigorated again, even with my own collection. We are gonna be taking a look at two toppers today. These are both top billing. They're both the longer versions, but we're looking at one that's human hair and another that is synthetic, that's heat friendly. So we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of both of those. And I think this would be a great one if you're also fairly new to helper hair because sometimes it's a little confusing, uh, the difference between synthetic and human hair, other than of course the price point because there is quite a difference there. But I think this is gonna be fun. I hope you find it informative. I am breaking this up into two parts. The second part you will see next week, and that one is really all about styling. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with that too. All right, let's get going on this. All right, I am helper hairless because we are gonna try on both of these and we're gonna talk about them as we do. So this one is not about let's see if I like this because top billing is I can safely say currently my very favorite topper and I do own it already in the shorter length I believe it's the 12 inch or is it the 14 inch I'll put it up here I have one in shaded biscuit and I have another one in shaded cappuccino I absolutely love love this topper Okay, these are both in Shaded Biscuit and I wanted to do that on purpose because along with different fiber types, you can have the same color in each of them and they will all look a little different. We'll talk about that too. So we have the 16 inch human hair top billing Shaded Biscuit, which is SS1923. And we have the 18 inch top billing in the heat friendly synthetic fiber, also in Shaded Biscuit. We're gonna start, we're gonna put this one aside. We are gonna start with the human hair. Now, a long while back, I made a video about human hair and when it comes to helper hair and even the different types of human hair that different pieces can have and those differences and what that means. So it is an older video, be prepared for that. But I think it is still very, very informative. So I'm gonna put that link down below in the description box. When you're done watching this, you can peruse down there and click on it if it's something that you think you might wanna learn a little bit more about. So this is the Human Hair Shaded Biscuit. It is 16 inches. 16 inches long. It's absolutely beautiful, this color. Even in the human hair, you know, a lot of times you lose some dimension in your human hair pieces when it comes to the highlights and the low lights. But I have to say, I feel like they did a really nice job. I still see beautiful highlights throughout. It's very pretty. Let's take a look at the cap because really the cap is everything and that goes for wigs, full wigs as well. Now toppers come in a variety of different features in the cap, just like wigs. I personally prefer a full monofilament top. This is the monofilament right here and what that does is it gives you 
beautiful, natural looking scalp wherever you decide to part your piece. And it gives you this full monofilament, gives you all of these options. You can part your hair anywhere in there. For toppers, that is completely a must for me. This topper has, like I mentioned, a lace front. Now, Raquel Welch does amazing lace fronts just right away because <laughs> they are not all created equal. And this is no exception. So we have that beautiful Raquel Welch lace front. That way I can put that hairline right where I want it. Now we have two clips here and we have two clips here in the back. Okay, and the cap, look how large. This is a huge cap for a topper. And that means a lot of coverage. And I love that. Absolutely love having all of this hair back here. We have that monofilament and then we have the machine wefting. And how many rows do we have here? We have nine rows of hair that is sewn in, in in this so so that's pretty amazing that is really amazing so one thing that that I wanted to let you know about this human hair top billing is that if you may or may not know but the other one that I have which is the shorter version it has some wispy bang kind of to it and therefore there's a little bit of sort of a little bit of wispiness around the face not a lot of layering there but there is the slightest bit of a wispy bang um, and so that means there's some shorter pieces right through there and I love that I absolutely love that about that topper now the human hair version here this is the 16 inch does not have that at all it is there's just absolutely no no little wispy bang there whatsoever there's the slightest bit of layering kind of as it comes you know sort of lower down and let's see just a little bit of the layering as it gets kind of right down in here but for the most part you know there's absolutely nothing going on when it comes to a wispy bang in this now I do want to right away show you this topper in the heat friendly synthetic version right now because I want you to see the difference between the colors that there is a noticeable difference between shaded biscuit in these two different types of fibers so this is the heat friendly fiber this is the human hair now as you can see this one's actually a little bit more of like a honey blonde uh, we've got some caramel in there uh, I don't see any yellow or anything like that, but it's definitely more of sort of a light caramel, sunny blonde. Whereas this one is a true shaded biscuit. This is, this is, you know, quite a bit lighter, even though these are both called shaded biscuit. So we have that. That is something that I would think would be important to know. You know, you, you spend the money for the human hair for maybe some positives that we're going to talk about today. And yet, you if you don't like the color of your piece, no matter what it is, you're just not going to like it. You're going to just kick yourself. You've got to love the color. It's like with me, I feel I can work with almost anything if I love the color. So, yeah. And this is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It is beautiful. But there is a difference. There is a difference. Now, the other, this is the, the heat friendly synthetic. So, this does have this sort of layering right through here. It is not as short as that wispy bang, though, in the top billing, the short one, the one that's 12 or 14 inches. So, there isn't that little. You know, you could easily put a little wispy something in there, but there is more layering right through here. There's also some big body waving going on here. Okay, so that is something we are going to talk about because that could be a plus for you when you look at synthetic fibers that it has built in memory. So there's a little bit more shape here. 
there's a little bit more shape when it comes to just the cut. I know. Back to the human hair one. Okay, let's just talk about what it means to have a human hair helper hair piece. Doesn't matter if it's a wig, doesn't matter if it's a topper or whatever. Human hair needs to be, I mean, if you're, you're not digging it looking like this, you have to style it. You have to curl it. You have to style it, basically. You, you definitely do. It does not have a memory at all. So each time you wash it, you will have to restyle it. So that for a lot of people can go both ways. It could be an annoyance and that's why they choose synthetic because no matter how many times you wash it, it's always gonna go back to that memory. You won't have to really style it other than just if you wanna do something cute, do something else different. But, but human hair is something you do have to style. You can blow dry it, curl it, or just directionalize it. You don't have to have it curled if you don't want. So, oh, I was gonna say, wait a minute, do I see a little wispy bang in here? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, so that is something you have to keep in mind. Cost, cost is the big one for me. I love human hair toppers. And I'll talk about my personal sort of view when it comes to me personally later, but it is the cost for me, absolutely. That's, that's what holds me back for kind of building up more of a collection of human hair toppers. Human hair pieces, wigs, toppers, they're very warm. They are noticeably warmer. Again, keep that in mind. So yeah, they are definitely warmer. They did an amazing job with this piece though. The other thing that I've noticed with at least human hair wigs, I feel like they put a lot of human hair fibers in them. They just look so dense, so heavy. And I don't know why they do that. I don't know. Uh, but I'm looking at this particular topper because I've seen that in toppers as well. This one, it looks like it's done absolutely beautifully. So a con for the human hair, the price. If you can afford them, then you can strike that off your list. For some of the others out there like myself, it is definitely something that is a huge hindrance when it comes to choosing a human hair piece. So the cost, the cost can be an issue for a lot of us. They can be a little warmer, they can be dense, they can be a little heavier and you have to style them. For me personally, that isn't a big issue because I actually love styling hair and I love styling my pieces. And it's something in a way that's more of a positive for me because it's kind of exciting for me to think about that. But for many, it is definitely a con. You have to style it. And there's no memory, so even if you style it, that style is probably gonna kinda come out just like in your real hair through the day you know it might not be as bouncy and whatever it is that you did to it you know so human hair is human hair now when it comes to synthetic and human hair you need to treat them properly when you wash so with your human hair pieces you're going to use products that were made for human hair you know and here's where Here's where the sort of the differences of human hair fibers and how they are being used and what kind in a human hair piece comes into play because some hum Remy human hair, for instance, still has that medulla inner layer of the hair. So that can be important because that means that it's going to tangle a lot less and if it is a non-Remy human hair, you're gonna have quite a bit of tangling going on. And you're really, really gonna have to take care of that piece if you want to have some longevity with it. Again, I really highly encourage you if you're pondering human hair to look at that video that I have already kind of talked about the differences just within the human hair. 
and uh, what that means. You want to you you still want to condition. You want to condition this. You want to be careful with it. You want to use heat protectant on it when you're blow drying and heat protectant on it when you're using any kind of heat tools whatsoever. It is so important that you use proper products on your human hair pieces just as it is for your synthetic pieces. So that's really important because, you know, one of the, the pluses of human hair is if it's properly taken care of, your investment will last for a long time. It could last for years versus your synthetic pieces that can break down pretty dang quickly. And while there are different things you can do to prolong the longevity of those pieces, absolutely. I've had wigs that I bought in 2017 that I still can wear. Not that they're looking right out of the box anymore, but they're certainly wearable. So it's not like you can't do that with synthetic, but I'm not going to lie to you. Synthetic pieces, especially your heat-friendly fibers like this, will break down very fast, shockingly fast shockingly fast. I think that was the big eye-opener for me when I first started my helper hair journey. I could not believe it. But you learn different things along the way. You learn to rotate your pieces and there's just a lot of different things that you can do for sure. But I'm still going to tell you that's something that ha happens with synthetic fibers. So these can last for sure a lot longer but you have to take care of them. It's not a given by any means. So that is a huge positive, I think, for human hair. So you don't need as many. You don't have to rotate them as much. You can have a much smaller collection, you know, which is good because these are not inexpensive. So while you're kind of like putting a lot out there on that counter of the money that you're spending on a piece right away, if you take care of these, that money kind of starts making sense, but you gotta take care of them. All right, when you wear toppers, you have to, absolutely have to prep your own hair. You need to look at, look at the topper, and is it smooth, is it straight, what's going on here? Because I, even though I have not a lot of hair and it's very cotton candy, and it kind of goes down to nothing when it gets to the end, it's very fuzzy. I have to use, even if I have to use like a smoothing product on my own hair, for wearing this type where it's nice and straight and smooth, I'm gonna have to straighten my own hair and match as much as I can, I need to match the texture and look of my topper. Because although this topper has a lot of coverage, there's still, it's still gonna part, you're still gonna, you know, kind of see your own hair. So if you've got a lot of fuzziness under these pieces, oh, that's not gonna be good. So that in and of itself is something you have to consider if you're thinking about toppers, is you do have to take a little bit of time. For me, it doesn't take much. For many of us, it wouldn't take much because we don't have a lot of hair, most of us. So it's not like it takes a lot of time, but we're so used to just wrapping up our our hair it can be even not so clean that day stick on our our wigs and we're going out the door gotta spend a little bit more time with your own hair okay so i'm gonna get a little closer here to my mirror and i'm also i think gonna have to lower my chair a little so you guys can see what i'm doing okay i gotta start over here okay so i i take it and i flip it back and then I take a look at where I want. So pretend I have my It Stays on. I take these and I look at them because that's how I line everything up to see if I've got it straight. And then I put that lace right where I want it. And then see how, wow, that's a lot lower. So I might be able to get away with this. It's because this is such a large cap. And let me see. Oh, I probably am gonna wanna take that back a little more. So let's do that. So I'm going to take that back about there. And then I'm going to secure these. Now be careful with your clips because you don't want to irritate the follicles. So don't stretch it out. 
then bring it around the hair and then clip it right away. Let it kind of travel up a little and then clip it. Otherwise, it is going to really, you might not real, realize how much it's pulling until the end of the day and the follicles are screaming at you. And that is not good. You don't want to create little bald patches, you know, and make everything worse because you have irritated your follicles and then they just decide they're going to fall right on out. So be kind. Okay. So this is obviously longer than my natural hair. Let me go back a, a little here. So yes, this, this is giving me a little more length than what I actually have. So now what you're going to want to do now I again it stays would be happening and if I had it stays I would make sure that is where it wants to be or where I want it to be and then if it is then I get my fingers under the fibers so I don't smash the fibers and I just sit there and I hold it for like 10 seconds and then I smooth it down to the sides and smooth it down and hold it for 10 seconds and then I might do that maybe three times you know and because my it stays is all the way to back there it's not like I just do a little skinny band so fingers under the fibers press press 10 seconds and then slide your fingers down get those where you want it press 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 because I will even have it stays there even though the clips are there so that's going to secure this whole area if you sweat a lot if I, if I do, but funny enough, I've never had problems with it stays. But if you live in a very humid climate, if you sweat a lot, then you might have a, a bit of a problem with it stays because it is water soluble. <laughs> Goodness. Um, so I've, I've heard people have good success with got to be products, got to be glued. There's a spray, there's I think gel. I've never used it. Um, but others have and they say that it, it, it works great and they don't seem to have that issue of it softening up and not working for them when they sweat or living in a human climate. So check that out. It's not, not a bad thing to look into. My goodness. So we have like that curtain effect that I can't stand. But this is human hair out of the box. This is not styled. This is it. Like I would never just be okay with this. But we do have this crisscross part, so let me uncrisscross that. But I am going to show you in part two how to go about styling your human hair toppers. So let me do a spin first. I think this color is gorgeous. It really is. Um, while it's not as bright as the synthetic version of Shade of Biscuit, I think it's very becoming. I think it warms up the complexion. Right, so. Next week is when this is going to really wow you. And I'm going to show you the difference it makes when you incorporate styling your own hair into your human hair piece same thing can apply to your heat friendly fibers but I want to talk about for me the huge positive for human hair pieces toppers and that is and it makes total sense if you think about it human hair human hair once you've got your piece blended and worked into your own hair human hair toppers just blend better into your own hair than synthetic and it just makes sense you know it's like and like and so that is so that is one of the main reasons if not the main reason why I 
would love to build a collection of some human hair toppers because they blend so easily and so nicely with your own hair. Yeah, they just work better together because they're human hair and you have human hair. And the synthetic pieces tend to separate and it's a little harder. You really kind of have to re-blend them in through the day much more often than you would with your human hair piece. So that is my reason why I love human hair toppers. So this is longer than the human hair. This is 18 inches. The human hair one is 16 inches. So this one has a couple more inches to it. This is a heat friendly fiber. So they're very, very delicate. So you always want to start at the bottom and then gently start working your way up anytime even if you're styling you know you just want to go from the bottom up we do not want to stretch out those fibers once they are stretched they do not go back <laughs> and that is a problem so look at how many more wefts we have here okay compared so you're not going to get the same amount of wefts it's also going to be lighter though just feeling you know so we are gonna do that I'm gonna pretend I have it stays on and I am gonna line up those two clips and I'm gonna pretend I have hair there I'm gonna hold it see my own natural hair works better with this shade because my gray kind of blends in a little better for one thing okay so here is already a rather large difference I can get my human hair piece to probably look like this but it's probably not going to stay like this throughout the day let alone the next day because I won't wash any of my helper hair very often that would go for my human hair piece so i could get this gorgeous thing yes but this has memory when i wash this piece it's gonna look like this every single time so this is a matter of and this is doing this because i don't have this i don't have hair here so i would need the it stays to really smooth that out so yeah, that's where this smoothing happens. So you don't have any sort of buckling right there. But look at this. Do you see how this is just right out of the box? I haven't even, you know, it's absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. So yeah, but this piece has some layers. It has a little bit more shape and it's like this right out of the box. I've never ever put this on my head. So this is quite literally right out of the box. Wow. I have yet to see. Now I I think this is gorgeous and it's, it is truly gorgeous. Before I I'm going to do a spin though. We're going to see the coverage in the back. It's kind of nice that my other hair is starkly a different color because you'll be able to see exactly where it's at and how much coverage we actually would get. So let's do that spin. So the pros of a synthetic piece is versus the human hair is definitely cost. They aren't near as expensive as 
human hair toppers. The other pro is that the style that they're in is there. And if they are a heat friendly style, you can alter that style yourself. You can straighten it. You can also put curl in it. But just remember, once you alter that style with heat, that is its new memory. And that's the style it's going to go back to after you wash it. The reason why it's very difficult to get a very light blonde with your human hair pieces is because it has to be lifted. And you have to be careful because that could really damage the human hair that they're using for their pieces. So it's, it's really hard to get a platinum with human hair, if not impossible, because if it is, it's going to probably not last too long because it's already been lifted and damaged quite a bit. So that's why generally with your blondes especially, that's going to be a thing and you'll have to decide if that's super important to you. So we're talking toppers here with comparing these. So with this particular comparison, this is right out of the box. So you will have to prep your own hair but then this is done. This, this is a different thing. And in part two, you know, I'm gonna show you how we can achieve, now it's not cut like this. We don't have these pretty layers here with this one, but I'm gonna do and style this one to where I would feel very comfortable but. with, you know. That is a huge one for many of you, is that this is like this right out of the box. And it's going to stay like that. Going to have to use some, you know, a little bit of hairspray, but this is it. And if you wash it, it's going to look like this again and again. Now, the human hair pieces, it's not like you have to style it every single time you put it on from fresh. No, no absolutely not it's going to look a little different each time but then you just sort of work with what you have so say you kind of curled it well the first time you wear it it's going to be you know the curliest and the second time you wear it it's going to be a little bit more loose but give you a, a cool different look and so on and so forth so um no you don't have to style this fresh every single time Something that I touched on but really didn't talk about too much is that we, if you are used to synthetic fibers in your wigs or whatever, you know what happens when they get old. They start breaking down. They start almost looking dusty. The fibers start sticking together. And it's really hard to keep them from mushing up. You really have to, through the day, break them up. And that goes for your toppers as well and that would happen to this. So the fight to keep them sort of blended with each other, your hair and the topper, synthetic topper, it's a little bit more of a fight. Uh, not right away, but when it starts breaking down and these fibers start mushing up a bit, um, they it's harder to kind of keep them blended in. Whereas you don't have that problem with your human hair top pieces. You just don't because they don't they will get dry, they will get dry, and if you don't use heat protectant and you don't deep condition it, you do have to deep condition these every so many wearings and then definitely condition them with, you know, it doesn't have to be a deep condition, but you will condition them also every time you wash it and definitely use a heat protectant. But even with that, you know, they're it's gonna get dry and all of that, but they still don't behave as it gets dry and it gets older and older, like synthetic fibers and especially the HD fibers. But your regular synth synthetic fibers do that as well, but it just takes a little longer. So with me personally, I prefer heat friendly fibers because they don't shine as much they look and behave a little bit more like regular human hair and um, i choose that over the fact that they don't last as long and i have to baby it more because i like the look of them more i like the look of the fiber more so again this is a heat friendly fiber really would have to baby this and uh that is something to take into consideration and that is definitely a con for synthetic toppers. I'm gonna say goodbye for this one. Definitely take a look at part two. It'll be out next week. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.